Hello, hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Please ignore the mess that is right next to me. I'm in my spare bedroom and we have just filled out this space with extra wedding things that I just have no idea what to do with. I don't think any of you guys actually care about the mess in my bedroom, but I just had to throw that out there. Anyway, today's role is with Dave. Dave is a really good blue belt. He's another person where I just always have a really good back and forth role with. And today's just a short little role. It was after we already trained and Dave was kind enough to get an extra round in with me so that we can film it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the role. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, questions about the role or any additional comments if you have any help for me because you guys know your girl needs all the help that she can get in jujitsu leave a comment let me know so let's get into the video okay so dave and i start from our feet and at first we're just trying to feel each other out get our grips and once i get the collar and sleeve i pull myself underneath and get a grip on his right ankle Dave's working on getting his base and I want to bring my right foot to the near side hip and I want to grab that same side sleeve because I want to start working a tripod sweep. I wait until Dave postures up and I bring my left foot to his far ankle to go for the sweep, but he brings his left knee to the floor, which makes it hard to finish the sweep. So then I recover and I bring both feet back to the hip and then I bring my right foot to his bicep to start working spider guard. But I'm a little crowded, I'm a little cramped, so I bring my left Left foot to the floor to hip escape outwards so I can bring my foot on top of his use my hook to lift his foot up that will give me some space to open up the omoplata which you see me do next Dave knows it's coming, so he rolls immediately before I can even establish the omoplata, and I can feel him roll, so I keep my grip on the arm. I do a big back step with the idea of setting up a mounted triangle, but he's able to slip his left arm out. Once I establish top position, all I'm worried about is maintaining a good base, so I vine my legs with him. I settle my hips back a little bit so that I can start working towards getting head and arm control. My left arm is around his head, grabbing his lat muscle, pulling him into me for control. My right hand is inch warming up to lift his elbow off the floor so I can start setting up the arm triangle. But he's doing a good job of staying tight, so I switch to a C grip behind his tricep to help push the arm across. But Dave uses his right hand and my bicep to relieve some pressure, bumps his hips, and is able to bump me over. For a second, I debated on finishing the arm triangle from close guard, but then I realized that I don't actually know how to do that. So I decided to keep the grip anyway and come around to the back. But I think I was being a little too conservative and thinking about it too much and that prevented me from actually doing anything. What could have helped me is bringing my right hand to his far lat muscle. And if I could have made it up onto my left elbow and hip escaped as I was doing here, those minor changes could have given me a little bit more more leverage to actually come up and around to take the back. So what I decide to do now is bring my right hand around his head to control his wrist. I felt like this gave me a little bit of control as I tried to work my body up higher to start going for the arm bar. I switch my right arm in front of his face and then I try to bring my right leg in front of his face, but he did a good job of blocking it and defending. And now he knows the arm bar is coming. So he defends, he rolls, and my right leg is trapped underneath him. So it made it awkward for me to turn as well. And when I did, my right leg was still trapped. So I couldn't actually feel finish the arm bar from when he was on his back and then he was able to turn onto his knees and he got into a better position because although he's in my clothes guard he wasn't getting attacked. Once I get my grips I open up my guard and I start working De La Hiva, but Dave does a good job of keeping his base low. He breaks the grip on his right sleeve, he brings his hand to my knee, he pushes my knee down to kill that De La Hiva hook. I bring my left leg back to the inside, I still have control of his ankle, control of his collar, and I angle my body off so that I can start setting up single leg X. Now I want to start getting him off his base here so I use the collar grip and the ankle grip to do that and I bring my left foot to his hip. Now as he starts to posture back up I use that momentum to torque my knees to the left and I extend him a little bit to get him to sit to his butt. Now here all I'm doing is trying to figure out how to keep my grips, bring my right foot off the hip and come up on top while not getting stuck in his guard. But I get stuck in his guard anyway because I let go of my grips and I had bad foot positioning so even though I come up on top Dave is able to reestablish his guard. He brings his left foot to my hip, he has good collar control, and I can feel him wanting to set up single leg X, so I bring my left hand to his shin to get 
get rid of the hook, but he's able to put the hook inside anyway. Now with his hooks and his good collar control, he's able to start elevating my body. And my main concern now is not getting swept. So to prevent the sweep, I make my body really light so that I can just follow his hooks and sort of float on top so that I can stay on top and not get swept. We both do a technical stand-up so that we can come back to our feet and Dave attempts an outside trip. Then I go for an underhook and attempt to throw. I readjust my underhook and get it a little bit deeper. I attempt to throw again and it doesn't work. So after a couple of failed attempts, I pull myself right underneath to single leg X. Dave is trying to get a good base here and I'm trying to get either a collar grip or a sleeve grip. But as he stands up, I grip his ankles, backwards roll, invert, and I'm able to come up on top. And that's all guys. Like I said, just a short little roll after Dave and I had already trained. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave a comment if you have any questions on anything that happened during the roll. Leave a comment with some tips to help your girl out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post a new video. And until the next video, I will see you guys next time.